Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees, and all of this alongside our full-time jobs. Quite a few of you mentioned in previous videos in the comments that I've been uh, kneeling down with my table saw, basically working off the ground. Well, Vivor have sent us this portable workbench, um, which hopefully will make me work at a proper level. It's fully adjustable in height, uh, with slidey legs at the bottom. Um, it's totally foldable. Both of these fold down. And it's got various uh, bench dogs, all the holes, slideys, a little clamp. A bit plasticky this one, but um, it works fine. Um, this is pretty solid though, all of this MDF uh, bench. So pretty happy with that because we've got quite a lot of work to do on the siding coming up. So I'll be planting my um, uh, planer here. And also in this video, we are working on the IBC units and I'm connecting those together with a bit of plumbing. And I've got some brass threaded tube that I need. I've used it in a previous uh, project on the homestead. It's just an easier way to connect the fittings to the actual IBC units instead of buying the, uh, the special kit, which costs a fortune. So I'm gonna get on with that now with my bandsaw. Um, got my, a new bandsaw, not sponsored at all by Lidl, but um, they do pretty good kit. Uh, this I found in the bargain box, so I had to search for it like I normally do when I go down that middle aisle. Um, first time I've used one of these, so we'll try it on this little brass fitting and see how it goes. It's actually nice to be able to plug a mains cable into a mains socket and have power. It's the first time they'll actually turn this on, so... Uh... So the power is all running from my main distribution board, but what's powering that is the Delta II EcoFlow. Um, and with the solar, we've just got constant power now. It will run out once I start using these bigger machines. It's great just to pop down here and be able to just use everything uh, as normal. Um, that's, that's what our goal was. So this is what I used before. This is the fitting for the IBC, go straight on. And I use this brass threaded tube. I'm gonna cut this in half and then the fittings will just screw onto that. And that's the idea anyway. So, just gonna cut this perfectly in half. This is 100 mil. So I've measured off five mil on my square. A little bit of tape. No more safety squints. I'm just using the, uh, the new ones from steel from my new strimmer or weed whacker or whipper snipper if you're in Australia. So just put the brass thing in. I'm not sure it should hold all right. Let's, let's have a look. First time I've used this. Pretty good. Better than using a, a manual hacksaw. Let's just see if the threads are okay. Oh, look at that, perfect. Well, oh, first job, pretty good with that little, little uh, bandsaw. So I need some PTFE tape and I'll get back up onto the IBCs and get that installed. Even though we put all this landscaping fabric down before the stones, Unfortunately, we seem to have quite a few little weeds and these are all coming from the bank where we haven't finished what we need to be doing is building a wall. So all the seeds from here are popping down into my stones and they're only surface, surface weeds. So 
I'm going to spend the next 15 minutes pulling weeds up. There's my fabric. And they, they're just resting in the stone, so it's not, they're not coming through the fabric, it's just surface, surface weeds. I'll get rid of these. That didn't take too long, all nice and clear again. I feel better now. Okay, next job helping with these gutters, these downpipes. So we got to the point yesterday um, that we went to fit the gutters together. And of course, they're exactly the same diameter. So we did watch another channel and um, yeah, there is a tool for them. Uh, the gutter supplier didn't mention it, but Julie just went there this morning and said, um, do you have this crimping tool? And yes, they do. It, it took him a while to find it, but they've lent us the tool. So we're going to get on and get all of these basically uh, either um, reduced or expanded in the right direction to get all the downspouts in. But first, I've just got to cut one piece and then uh, we're going to practice on that one. So I'm just going to practice on this little piece I cut. This tool actually reduces the diameter or the outside dimensions. And it fits exactly over these grooves. I think if you were to do it without this tool with a pair of pliers, it would make a right mess. So I'm just going to go in the grooves itself, not on the corners. So it's reduced it a little bit. The corners are a bit wide, but that before, well, if I should show you, so that is basically, it's not gonna go in anywhere, but I turned it round. This is what I've reduced and it just slides in nice. So what I wanna do there is just Keep my thumb on that, measure that. Now I included five centimeters to my pipes yesterday when I um, measured them all up. And that's five and a half, so that is actually perfect. Right, let's go for the real thing and do the proper pipes, the dam pipes. So I've just got to make sure, that's why I've got my labels, this is the top one, so the gutter, uh, yeah, the gutter spout goes into there, comes down along the wall, and then it'll come back out again over this um, concrete lip. So this one here has to be reduced to go into the longer downpipe. Here we go, oh, hearing me. So that is like that. So that one will fit into there. Perfect. Take this label off. Right, I'm just going to test fit that. So this bottom one, I have to reduce this one into the S bend. So these part, this part of the bracket here should screw on to the back of the downpipe and that corresponds to this part of the bracket which screws basically onto the wall and then it'll slot on here and then just a little screw into the side to secure it. Oh. 
Oh, blooming sun is strong. Right, so I need to get that on. Those screws are on. Aren't they? Yeah, it's just to hide the screws. Now this, if you look down the bottom, that's pinching on that. Hold on, now I've got to bring it out. Just got to go with that. That's it. Perfect, like that. Bit of a scratch there, we can touch that up. That's all right. Looks good. Oh. So I need to just screw those in. There's a nice gap underneath here yeah. and then we can take this off so i won't screw that up there i'll screw the these in at the side because we'll need to take this off when we put in the uh the drainage yeah here well you're just going to put one in to hold it yeah i'll put one yeah. in each side oh. and then Gosh. i'll do it. the top one doesn't need doing really at the moment no that's it Is perfect it cool Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, lusty bit. Very handy this bench. Well, it didn't take any room up, does oh, it? No. It's quite good. Right, one there. Flip him over. So this one is going to fit basically like that but this IBC tank which is three quarter full needs to come across here at probably about six inches 150 mil so we're going to have to lose all the water out of this so we can slide it along which is a bit of a pain but we've got lots of rain coming that other IBC is full so once this one's moved over I'll transfer that one over to this and then uh, do the same to that one and the plan is then to have a third IBC unit here. So we'll have 3,000 litres just off this small roof. Good morning. Well, God, it's humid. Nine o'clock in the morning and I'm, I'm sweating buckets. It's just so warm. The sun's not out, but um, it's just a very humid day. So yesterday we emptied this IBC out so we could move it along so I could get, where are we? That gutter there in line with this hole here for the actual um, pipe. I've got to modify this a little bit because it's a bit too long on that bit. But to save all this water from this IBC, I've just rigged up the pump here. There's a little power supply here, and um, I'm transferring the water from this IBC to this one. I don't want to waste it all, and also we need something to test it when I do all the, uh, the plumbing, etc. So I'm gonna leave that running. I'm now gonna go and seal around the base of the steel um, uprights of the garage because we've got a little bit of rain leakage in there and we haven't actually sealed around where the, the metal plate I'll show you now, it's easier. Here is the base of the uh, steel upright and I haven't actually sealed, all of this is sealed along the concrete but we didn't seal around this edge so water has been going underneath there and into the garage, not a lot but just annoyingly enough so we'll get all these sealed up uh, this will all be under cover once we get uh, another little roof we're putting another roof along here and down to here uh, and this is where the tractor and the mini digger and everything will be stored
Not a joke, I am dripping buckets here. It's so humid. I'm just hoping we're going to have a big storm and then it will fill all my IBC units back up. But um, I was just, you saw me set up to cut some of this. Luckily I didn't because Julie has just taken the crimping tool back to the uh, suppliers. So I wouldn't have had anything to uh, crimp and reduce this end. But luckily yesterday I cut a, just a test piece, uh, just to see how it would cut and how it would crimp. And it's, I think, probably exactly the right size for this um, small dam pipe, which is gonna go into the IBC. So I'm just gonna uh, take out these self tappers nice and carefully so I can put them back in to the new piece. Whew. Right, let's go and see if it fits. Had a bit of a bargain yesterday whilst in Aldi. Uh, found 10 of these bushes and these are really expensive in the garden centres here. So I thought, oh, I'm having all 10 of them. And then I thought, hmm, we'll go to the other Aldi in the next town. And they had 10, so I managed to get 20 yesterday. And these are going to form a beautiful, colourful hedge all down the side of the drive when we eventually get that far. But in the meantime, I've just dug a bed out here my temporary holding nursery for all the bushes that I've been buying. So this particular one now is for my flowering laurel. It's called rose laurel. Should look pretty. Cut out the top of the IBC. Just going to make a small um, filter. So using a Julie's sieve, cut the handle off. Slots in quite nicely. And I'm just going to drill a couple of holes and just secure it with a couple of cable ties. That's sort of simple enough. I suppose I'm going to take Julie shopping for a new Christmas present, a new sieve. There we go. That's pretty secure. So that'll just stop any uh, big grub or anything going into the uh, IBC. Well, the pump worked perfectly. Um, probably took two hours. So loads of water, not wasted. And now I can test it also for all my plumbing, which I'm going to do next. water in it I can move it let's get to these and this one is totally secure I think there's only two down pipes on this but I've got a whole big piece a two meter section of this just in case I need it one more screw for the top it should be pretty much self-supporting. Just putting together my uh, plumbing fittings for the two IBCs. She saw me cut that brass uh, threaded pipe and that's just uh, going to extend this T-piece out from the IBC because uh, the metal cage gets in the way. 
a little bit of PTFE tape. Probably not required because it is all plastic when I'm screwing it into. So, there we go. I'm using the brass pipe, it actually gives me uh, a little bit of leeway of getting it straight. It's like I've made a core sample in our <laughs> wall. That's solid, <laughs> absolutely no gap. I missed all the rebar because I went through the uh, where the block blocks join and we didn't. We know we didn't put any there. That's perfect, 40 mil hole. That's good. Just turn them on, the two IBCs, while well, open the big valves uh, to balance the water off. I thought I would, I do need more PTFE tape or, um, oh, what is it, pipe gunk or whatever it is, thread gunk, because um, I'm getting a leak there, but I'm gonna let it balance off just in case it rains. This one will be, uh, will have enough uh, empty volume to take a bit more. He's earn, Ian's earning brownie points after stealing my uh, sieve. He's just rigged up a temporary hose fitting so I can water all my plants. I'll let him off. Really happy with this um, workbench. It's saved a lot of time on this, uh, these few projects I've had and will do when we start doing this siding. I just want to thank Vivor for sending it to us and uh, I'll stick a link in the description and you can click on that and it'll go through one of our affiliate links. Uh, that'll help the channel as well. So again, thanks to Vivor for sending this table. Well, yesterday I was absolutely sweating buckets and today, Right on cue is the rain, which is pretty good because it's now testing out our IBCs. So both of these IBCs were exactly half full uh, because I balanced them between the two. So let's see how much rain we got overnight. Now both will be exactly the same because they're connected together. Uh, can't really tell. I haven't got any markers on, but um, it's definitely definitely risen and that's just from this small roof here connections have worked fine and i've run that around it's sort of temporary because we are planning on two more ibcs here and then this runs around straight through that hole in the wall down to the tap 
which I haven't quite finished because I just need a bracket and that will run here where a sink will be. And, they and the rain came at a good time as well because I put my plants in yesterday, soaked them with water from the IBC units and now they've had a good bedding in with proper rain and it did rain heavy last night. And another test for the rain was my sealing of these uh, supports here. Absolutely bone dry inside. So a pretty successful couple of projects. Right, we're gonna leave the video here. Lots of little projects in this video, just in between our tours. And one job that we can actually continue with in between our tours is we must get this siding finished. So that's coming up next. It's, it's too much wood in the uh, garage. We've just got to get rid of all the things we have in stock and then we can carry on with the next project, which could be the house. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Please press that subscribe. Give us that thumbs up as normal. And we'll see you next time. Cheers for now.